Okay, so the next thing we need is a way for people to sign up for our email list to actually give us their information, so their name and their email address. And the way we do that is by creating a form or a landing page. So we go to the top left side here and click on landing pages and forms. Then we click on create new. Then again, we have the possibility to create a form or a landing page. So a form is just a simple piece of code that you can put on your website where it just says, put your name and your email address here and then says something like subscribe or download like a button. And then we can put that form on our website uh, wherever we want to basically. So this is for you if you actually have a website already. And a landing page is like a simple one page website that is designed just for getting people to sign up for your email list. So if you have uh, if you don't have a website or you just have a YouTube channel and you want to still collect some leads, collect some email addresses, you can use the landing page option here. If you have a website or a blog, you can, um, you can just put the form on your blog. So the way most people get people's email addresses is by giving away something for free, like a freebie or a lead magnet or whatever it's called. So uh, what people give away is like a free checklist, a free ebook, a free mini course, something like that. And in this example, I'm gonna show you how to create a form and a landing page to give away a free checklist or just a free um, digital product, a free dig digital PDF document. So I'm gonna create a form first. We're gonna click on create form. And then we have some different possibilities, some different form types that we can choose for the form that we're gonna create. So there's the inline form that is just a part of your website, maybe like in the middle of a blog post. Then we have the modal one that just makes everything the background blur out or make it gray and then it just pops out and says something like, hey, um, I have this ebook about lead generation. If you wanna uh, get like 100 leads in 30 days, uh, you can download this ebook, something like that. And the same thing with the slide in here, it just slides in from the, from the uh, bottom right or the sticky bar, which is a bar that will always be on the top here. So at any time people see that bar. Now I'm gonna show you how to create an inline form because that's like a very simple one. And it's very useful for like bloggers because they can put that inside of their blog post very easily. So create, uh, click on inline. And then we have some different um, templates that we can use. I'm gonna use the simple Claire template because it's very minimalistic. I'm gonna click on choose. And that's how the form currently looks like. And you can change some different things here. So you can uh, maybe change that button to download because I'm giving something away. So download makes more sense in my case. Uh, I'm gonna change that to download. Maybe also change the color of that button by just clicking on it and then going to the right side here. Change that to green, something like that. And that's it. I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Now there's a couple of things I wanna change as well bec before I put it on the website. So on the right side, you can change from style to the little gear icon here. And then I wanna change the success message. So when somebody types in their first name and their email address, then it replaces this form with a message. And I wanna change that message from success, now check your email to confirm your subscription, to um, actually check your email to download um, whatever I'm giving away. So to download the YouTube checklist. I'm gonna change that real quick to download the YouTube checklist. Okay, you can also redirect to an external page, but uh, I'm just gonna use this message for now. Cool, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Then we're gonna go to the next thing here, um, which is this, this letter icon. And um, What's very cool with ConvertKit is that you can set up your um, your email where the lead magnet will be in. So the PDF document that I will be giving away um, will be in an email. So they have to go check their email and actually download what I'm giving away. And what you can do with ConvertKit is you can do like a double opt-in, but not, uh, not as normally this works. Like normally it's like, okay, confirm that you wanna be subscribed to this email list. But with ConvertKit, what you can do is just um, put the download button there. And once they click on the download button, then they already double opted in, which um, is very good because then you, you, you don't get any fake email addresses and you don't get any, any people that aren't active on your email list because that really hurts your open rates eventually. 
So you can either, if you don't want to have a double opt-in, you can just click on auto confirm new subscribers. But um, again, this will maybe get some, some people on your email list that you don't want to have there because they are not active. So what I would suggest you do is you just untick this box here and tick the send incentive email. Now, again, what I want to do is have an email sent to them that uh, where they can then download that checklist that I'm giving away. Okay, so we're going to click on edit email contents and the from email, I'm going to change that to simon at learnpassiveincome.com. This is the one that I have verified in the beginning of the tutorial. Then I'm going to change the subject of this email to um, uh, here's your YouTube checklist, maybe something like download so that they know this is where they need to go. Then the content, uh, thanks for signing up, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to type in something real quick. Hey, obviously you want to spend some time creating a good email and um, don't make it too long because people are eventually uh, basically there to actually download what you're giving away, but then you can follow up eventually with some more emails. Hey, here's um, the free checklist I promised you. And then this is the button that where they need to click to confirm their subscription, but I'm going to change the, the text of this button to download. And then I'm going to just say something like talk to you soon, Simon. Okay. So let's say this is, looks good to me. This is the email that I want to have sent once somebody actually types in their information here, I'm going to click on save. And then what I need to give ConvertKit is the actual checklist that I want to give away. So I'm going to click on download and then I need to choose a file. So I'm going to click on choose file and then I'm going to look for that file that I'm giving away. So it will be this one, YouTube checklist. Okay. So now the PDF document is uploading and once it's uploaded, I'm going to click on save on the top right because now my form is done. Everything is set up as I want it to be. And the next step is to actually put that form on your website. So the way we're going to do that is by clicking on embed on the top right. Then the window will open up with some different options, how you can embed this form onto your website. So you have some different possibilities. You can maybe uh, install the ConvertKit um, plugin to uh, WordPress, but I think the easiest way is just to copy the JavaScript and then put that on your WordPress website. So I'm going to click on copy here to copy that Java code. Then I'm going to head over to my blog post. So this is just a quick blog post example that I created within WordPress. And now we're on the visual editor where you can just write your blog post. And now I want to find the place where I want to put that form. So make sure it's somewhere where it actually makes sense. So Maybe I'm talking about um, how I've uh, maybe ranked YouTube videos and then um, I've created like a checklist, like a, a process that I'm always doing that makes my videos rank on the top five for certain keywords. So, and then eventually I, I introduce them to my YouTube checklist and I, I offer them to download that checklist. So then it says download my YouTube checklist and here's where, I, um, where I'm gonna put that form so people can sign up and get the download button. Okay, so I'm going to type in something to remember where I want to put that form. So I'm just going to type in 999. Now what I want to do is change to the code editor. So I'm going to go to the top right here, click on the three dots, and then I'm going to click on code editor. Click here, and now it changes the editor to the code editor. And now I want to look for that 999 that I've just put in my visual editor and replace that 999 with the code that we have copied from our ConvertKit account from that form. So I'm going to right click, click paste, and now the code is pasted in there. Now I can click update. And now before the website looked like this, so it's just like my blog post. Uh, and then um, when I update, now it's updating. Now it's done. So I'm going to click on preview again. And now the form should be under the title. Let's see. Okay. So this is exactly what I wanted. So now the form is in there and people can actually go ahead and sign up. So let's check if that form actually works. 
So I'm going to type in an email of mine to just check if it works. Oh, that's actually the name here. Okay, so put that here. Um, let's say Simon. Okay, so click download. And now it says success. Now your email, uh, check your email to download the YouTube checklist. Okay, so let's now check our, let's not check the email. All right, so now I'm in my email and I've just got this email. Here's your YouTube checklist. And that's exactly the email that we have prepared before um, to, um, to be sent out once somebody signs up. So um, now I can click on this download button and now this email address, this contact is double opted in and uh, the person that got this email has this YouTube checklist right now. So what you can do is just save as and then you can download this, it like this. Okay, so this worked very well. Now let's actually check if this person is actually now a, um, a new subscriber on my email list. So go back to the subscribers tab on your ConvertKit account. And now you see that we have a new subscriber, which is the one that I have just entered. So um, now we checked that the form actually worked.